Hi everyone, I'm Paul Chandler, host of The Paul Chandler Show. And in today's episode, we're going to talk about how to code debridements. So in debridements, dealing with skin, so now we're talking about the integumentary system. And when we're coding debridements, if we're just coding one debridement that the patient has, that's quite simple. But some difficult parts though is when the patient has multiple debridements on different parts of the body. Because in general, when we code debridements, we have to know the depth, as in how far down through the skin and possible muscle and bone that the doctor is debriding, but then also the size. So when I say the word debridements, that just simply means the doctor is just scraping away dead tissue. The patient could have been burned, possibly has scar tissue that they have to scrape away, or the patient could have been riding their bike, maybe a tricycle for a kid or as an adult, uh, riding their bike and maybe they fell off the bike and slipped and slided against gravel. So then the patient has dead skin, then the provider has to just simply scrape away. So that's what we talk about in today's episode with debridements, how to code a single debridement and also multiple debridements and the different formulas for that. Now, when we're coding debridements, we have three main codes that we're dealing with, 11042, 11043, and 11044. We do have the add-on codes, 11045, 46, and 47, when we're talking about a larger size. But first, when we start with the standard codes, 11042, 43, and 44. Those involve the depth. So when we're looking at the skin, so let's say we have here the three different layers of skin. So we have the epidermis layer, the dermis, subcutaneous tissue, so I'll do E for epidermis, then dermis, subcutaneous tissue, but underneath the three layers of skin, we have muscle and bone. And yes, this may look like music class back when you're in grade school, when the music teacher had, I don't know what it's called, but so I went to school in the chalkboard days, um, so for the, for the youngins, see chalkboard is this powdery stuff that they put into little tubes that goes on a board and you never want to lean against it because then you have chalk all over you. But I remember, I remember back in music class, they had this thing that you gave, like a stick with little metal prongs that stuck out and had chalk in it. And they would you know, kind of go like that to write musical notes on it. So if this brings back horror memory for you, we'll just go with it. So we have the different layers of skin. And with the codes, so we have three different options. So what we're doing is recreating the codes based on those options. So first we'll do the 11042, going down to the subcutaneous tissue layer. And then we have the 11043, going down to the muscle layer, and finally the 11044, going down to the bone layer. Now, what can get coders tripped up is not reading the entire documentation in the code. So the description for 11042 says debridement to subcutaneous tissue includes epidermis or dermis if performed. 11043 says debriding down to the muscle and then the subcutaneous tissue and the other layers of skin if performed, and then going down to the bone. Right down to the bone includes the muscle and all the different layers of skin if performed. Because when we're, when we're dividing down, the doctor is not using one tool that goes all the way down to the different layers. So think of it as, so let's say, let's say you're, in, you're in your kitchen and you have different kind of knives. So let's say a doctor uses a butter knife to debride through the skin. And then a doctor uses a normal sandwich knife to debride down to the muscle. And then the bone, more being more dense, the doctor has to use a good old steak knife to be able to get through and debride that bone. Now, real world though, if your doctor ever uses a butter knife, sandwich knife, or steak knife to debride any of your skin, muscle, or bone, then my rule comes in, get a good lawyer and get a new doctor. So, 
we have the different layers based on how far we deep we're going down. So for example, if the doctor is running down to the muscle layer, then it's only code 11043, and that's it. Because again, it includes the muscle and everything up above it, including all the skin layers. So what I'm showing you though is when the provider is debriding different low depths going down. Because if the provider has the same depth, so let's say for example, the provider is going to do two debridements going down to the muscle. Kind of close up that skin. So if you have two different debridements, as in two different locations, going both down to the muscle, now we have both 11043s. So when you're writing multiple different locations, if the rhyme is going down to, in this case, the muscle on both of them, then we add the measurements together to get one code. So let's say this debridement of 11043, this one on the left, let's say it's a two by three. So we have six centimeters squared. And see the 11043 on the right, let's say it's a two by four, giving us eight centimeters squared. So six and eight is 14. If you look at the description for 11043, that's the first 20 square centimeters or less. So in these two different scenarios, just because they're smaller, we would code this simply as 11043, and that's it. We would not do 11043 times 2, or for example, 11043 for the first code, and then 11043 modifier 51 nor 59 for the second. So essentially, it's a BOGO. It's a buy one, get one free deal. Now, I'm sure we all love to go to Target or Walmart or wherever you shop and have a BOGOs, but that's what the doctor is going to reimburse. So meaning if the doctor just does the one on the left, does the six centimeters, that pays, let's just say, 100 bucks. Just throwing a number out there. The doctor gets paid 100 bucks for doing the one on the left. The doctor just does the one on the right, 100 bucks, because it's eight centimeters squared. But the doctor does both of them together, same time, six and 18, just because they're smaller. One CPT code, still 11043. So it's still getting 100 bucks. So that's what you buy a BOGO, as in the buy one, get one free deal. So there's no extra reimbursement. The only way the doctor would get reimbursed is if they're a larger size. So let's say this is six, but this is 18 square centimeters. Six and 18, that gives us 24 square centimeters. 11043 all covers the first 20. So that's the case where we cross over that 20 square centimeter threshold then we have 11043, comma, 11046. 11043 covers the first one as far as the 20 square centimeters, and the extra four we get the add-on code for. It. Now that's an example when the debridement depths are the same, but then to mix it up a little bit, I'm gonna put it back. So one is back to just the skin, and then the other one is going down to the muscle. So we have the 11042 going down to the different skin layers. And then that good old 11043 going down to the muscle. So whenever we have debridements that are different depths, we keep the location separate. We don't add any measurements together, no matter how, what size they are. So let's say in this case, both the debridement down to the skin so that'd be just the butter knife, and then the rodiment down to the muscle, we switch out for the good old peanut butter and jelly sandwich knife, 11043. Now we keep them separate. So then I would code this as 11043. That code would go first, since going down to the muscle has higher reimbursement. And remember, most insurance carriers have 100% reimbursement for the first code and 50% deductions for the rest. I have 11043 go first. And then 11042 second going down to the skin. And then I would add modifier 59 for distinct procedural service. And even though technically that means distinct procedural service, I prefer to call modifier 59 distinctly different. So by coding it this way, that's saying that this location for the skin, 11042, is a distinctly different location than this 11043. So pay me for both. Now, if you look at though this right quick, the provider gets two codes when the locations are different. So in this case, going down to the skin and the muscle is less work for the provider than the doctor having two locations down to the muscle. 
That's just how it works. So remembering that when you code debridements for multiple locations, if they're the same depths, you add the two measurements together, or three, however many you have. You add all those measurements together to get one code, or possibly an add-on if it's larger. Whenever the debridements are down to different depths, then you keep them separate. And remember using to modifier 59 for distinct procedural service, letting them know that these are distinctly different locations, so pay you for both. And thanks for watching this episode of the Paul Chandler Show on debridements. Thank you for watching and have an awesome rest of the day. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's so easy. It's right there. The little button. Just push it. Subscribe. I got all night. Nothing else to do. Just subscribe. <laughs>